Hey guys, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. So today we'll be doing a drag build and tune for this 2013 Toyota GT86. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. So first thing is we're just going to pull it up to the drag strip so we can see just how fast this car is. If we pull up to the line just here, you want to launch this car from about 4,500 RPM. You get the best launch here. You see we can drop away with no traction lost at all. If we gear up to fourth, we can hold that across the line and we got a speed of 270.8. So now we're going to throw it into the Festival Drag Strip race to see how it compares to other cars its level and get a time for it as well. So we can see launching here we don't lose any traction and we're already first by a long way and across the line. Easy first place finish there and we got a time of 8.5 seconds. Alright, so now that we've seen just how fast this car is, we're going to take it into the festival and I'll show you how to upgrade and tune it. Alright, so if you bring it into the custom upgrade menu here, so first thing we're going to do is swap in the V8 out of the Ferrari 458, which is the last option over here. You can put that in it. Then next we're going to do an all-wheel drive swap as well as twin turbos and the wide body kit. We do the wide body kit so that we can run wider tires on the car so we get less wheel spin while taking off. So next we're just gonna come over to the rear wing here and remove it because we don't need the added weight or drag for a drag car. Back out of air and appearance. Now we're gonna come into tires and rims so now we're going to do some drag tire compound as well as making the front and rear track widths as wide as possible. And then we're going to do a rim swap so we can save a bit of weight here. We can save 16 kilos if we just chuck these on it. So come back out of tires and rims. Now we're going to come into the drivetrain. It's going to max out everything in here. So a race clutch, a race transmission, a race driveline and a race diff. That's it as far as drivetrain goes. You come back out of there now into platform and handling. So here we're going to do race brakes, then rally springs, and then race front and rear anti roll bars. And then finally, we're going to do a race weight reduction. So that's it as far as platform and handling goes. Now into engine. So we're just going to max out everything in here, so a race intake, race fuel system, race ignition, race exhaust, race cams and valves, race valves, then a race twin turbo, race intercooler, and then finally a race flywheel. So that's it as far as upgrades go, so your car should be level 920. So if you come into the tuning tab, I'll cover the metric tune first and then I'll cover the differences in the imperial tune. So for tyres, we can set this front ones down to 1.3 bar. And then in the rear, we're going to set it down to 1.3 bar as well. Come down to you there. Next is gears. So we're going to set this down to 3.40 or the final drive. Just like that. Then next, if we come over to alignment, we're going to change these front and rear camber angles back to zero degrees. And then the front cast angle, we're going to set this down to four degrees. So after alignment, we can come over to springs. We're going to set these front springs up to 62.0. You just come up to there, 62.0. And then in the rear, we're going to set this down to 29.0, just like that. Next is dampening. So we're going to set these front rebound stiffness up to 5.7, just like that. And in the rear, we're going to set it down to 1.8. Then next is the bump stiffness. So in the front, we're going to set this up to 4.6. 
and then in the rear we can just leave it as is and then finally if we come over to the differential tab at the end we can set this front acceleration up to 85 percent just like that and in the rear acceleration we'll set this up to 95 percent and then finally is the center balance. We can set this up to 73%. So that's it as far as tuning goes. So I'll show you the differences in the Imperial tune right now. So for the Imperial differences, you'll want 18.5 PSI in the front and rear tires. Mine's slightly different as it was just a conversion over from the, from the metric. And then next will be the springs. So you'll want 347.5 in the front and 162.5 in the rear. So that's it as far as differences go. So you can go ahead and apply all of these. All right, guys. So this has been a drag build and tune for the 2013 Toyota GT86. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.